Hell, you, Bob here. Hey, Bob. Gary Derenfeld here. How you doing? Um, I'm doing great. Uh, thanks so much for asking. So uh, this is round three with my LG G4. You're familiar with me. You've known that I've called several times yesterday. Uh -huh. And I'm looking for the process to get the phone replaced at this point. I'm tired of being uh, without my phone. We know it's a defective product because it goes back and forth. I'm tired of the runaround, as you can well imagine, having been put through the ringer. And uh, I want to know how you are going to help me today. All right. Uh, checking the account here, it seems that uh, you've spoke with uh, several of our agents and uh, one of the supervisors yesterday. And uh, based on our last conversation, sir, uh, we cannot just simply process a replacement uh, we, without anything to review on. Uh, I know that uh, you were told several times that uh, we need to have at least uh, a check report coming from the service center wherein uh, you send the phone twice. Uh, without that, um, our general headquarters will not be able to do any review in terms of uh, processing any replacement for your G phone, uh, G4. So let me tell you where I am at. In the first go round, Virgin Mobile sends me a box. I put the materials in a box, UPS comes and picks it up. I have no record of where it was sent to. I have no record of what was done to the phone. I just, you know, the phone goes out to, to, to wherever it's been directed and it gets returned and the phone doesn't work. I give you another call back and try to escalate this through your service department. You tell me I have to go through the same rigmarole. Only this time, you actually offer to send me a, uh, a packing slip. Uh, and again, so I receive the packing slip, <clears throat> and I dutifully uh, uh, take it to Canada Post. I don't, I don't make a note of where it's going to. That's your responsibility, not mine. When I get it back, I do get a service summary, and it says, uh, no power, board has been replaced. There is no name or number as to the service center. It just says LG Electronics. So now we're on the phone and you're saying to me that I have to produce the name of the service centers and I have to produce service reports. Yet the process that you put me through doesn't provide for that. We call that a conundrum. And so I'm calling you wondering what are you going to do about my phone and what you throw back to me is a process that's impossible. So I'm throwing it back to you. What are you going to do with my phone? All right, sir. Uh, please do understand, sir, that uh, you send the phone over to your carrier. Uh, in most cases that our customer use the carrier to send the phone to any of the service center, we will not have any records of it. Neither will I, and I don't even have a record of where you had sent my phone. So uh, actually, it was not LG who uh, sent the phone, sir. It was through your carrier. No, the second Once time, uh, the, Bob. Well, uh, Bob, they're going to be uh, using different carriers, so we're not quite certain yet because we don't have any copy of their transaction. If it was sent to the carrier going to the service center, that's something that we cannot provide. Bob, in the second go round, when I complained to LG. You offered, and I believe it was you, are you the only Bob supervisor there? Uh, yes, I am. Great. So you offered to send me a Canada Post um, uh, slip so that I could take the phone to Canada Post and it was sent to whoever it was you directed it to. So, so you should have the record of that. This is a circular argument. In circular arguments, one person tries to avoid, avoid responsibility by placing inordinate demands, impossible demands, on the other person. This is what LG is doing to me. And it's unacceptable. If, if you can't resolve this at your level uh, for a customer who's a three-peat on customer service with a phone that doesn't work, then who else can I speak to at LG? Actually, uh, tech support is the only one that can help you with in terms of your concern. Uh, we're just following uh, what process uh, we have. So you're telling uh, me you have a process in place that really doesn't serve the customer? It's, it's not like that, sir. Well, uh, that's my experience. It's going to be for review. Uh, we need something tangible. 
I've just oh, given you something well, tangible. I've given you my complaint. That's pretty tangible. You have it on your uh, computer screen that this phone has been repaired twice because you know that, uh, that I've called uh, LG on at least two other co uh, occasions with the same complaint. So you already know that as well. You know that this is the third complaint because you have computer records of all these calls. So you do have tangible documentation that I continue to call, that this phone continues to be repaired, and that the repairs are unsatisfactory. So again, my question to you is, who are you answerable to? How do I escalate this, um, my needs to be met? How do I escalate that in LG beyond yourself? Uh, in most cases that our customer would like to send a feedback, sir, uh, they have to log on to LG.ca and there will be a link there to contact us. And those uh, feedback will go straight to our uh, general headquarters. And uh, in most cases that they receive it, uh, our customer should be getting a phone call within the next 24 to 48 business hours. So you, can, you have no process in place your, yourself there is what you're telling me, that in, in essence, the experience of the customer is that customer service is designed to keep the customer away. Uh, no, uh, it's not like that. Uh, That's my experience. Cases, customers requesting for a replacement, uh, there should be a recommendation coming from any of the um, service guy or uh, authorized service guy. Um, the, but your process, uh, but your process doesn't facilitate the end user myself providing you the kind of data you're looking for. So the very nature of the request of the customer is impossible, and that's what you've built into the structure. This is very interesting. This is very yeah, interesting. I only wish that I could change the process, but uh, this is the process that we have been following uh, for years now. Uh, the only right. thing that and, I'm and, able to see here is the one repair made in the phone last March. That's it. And uh, there is no recommendation here that uh, the phone needs to get uh, replaced. Uh, the only thing that I'm seeing here that they swap the board, uh, it passed all tests. So uh, I mean to say that the phone should be uh, working as it should be. In most cases that our customer uh, still having the same problem. So uh, we need to get it diagnosed again for the second time. Uh, because I'm only seeing once here. I know that you're telling me that you already sent the phone twice, but uh, based on the record here from our end, because uh, the fr I think the, the first time that the, you sent the phone over for repair was through your carrier, which we don't have any records of it. The but you do have a record. Have, yeah. uh, you should have a record that, of my having phoned ahead of phoning the carrier. Because when I phoned you the first time, you said... You know, and that I was on the phone for about an hour then. That goes back to January, no, February, early February. Uh, I was on the phone for about an hour. And then after that hour, the customer service rep acknowledged that uh, whatever hoops that I had to go through to reset the phone and do whatever wasn't working. And that's when you said that uh, my carrier might send a box. So you should have a record of that phone call which was the first, and then one several weeks after that, which was the second, and now this one from yesterday, which was the third. And yesterday... Uh, whatever transaction that you have with Virgin Mobile, sir, uh, we will not have that record here. You do have the record that I would have phoned, wherein you provided me customer service on the phone, having me fix whatever with the phone that didn't work. Every transaction that we have on the phone, sir, uh, will not suffice. Uh, anything because uh, it still needs to be checked uh, by a service guy and in most cases that uh, a unit cannot be fixed over the phone at the time that uh, we send it for repair. Do you have on your records, Bob? Over the phone, so um, we really cannot just simply replace uh, your current phone, sir. We need to get it diagnosed again and have the technician assess the phone and if they deem that it needs to be replaced, so that's the only time that we're going to be considering replacing, uh, replacing your unit. Bob, how many times does a phone have to be fixed before you re replace it? At least uh, we require two technical reports coming from an authorized uh, service center or a service guy. 
So if I give you the name of the or the phone number of the phone or you know you've got me there in customer service, can you not check your uh, databases through LG? Because I certainly can't. I don't have that information. I'm a I'm the end user customer. How am I supposed to get these things? Can you not do that? Uh, no, sir. If it was sent through your carrier, uh, it's going to be the responsibility of our customer. Uh, we really do not have any records of it uh, if it was sent through the carrier. Uh, but one thing that I can assure you that the week are I am only seeing one repair here done uh, based on the uh, account. This was made or this was uh, checked uh, last March of this year. So. Do you have the technical report from the repair that was done uh, most recently? Uh, yes, uh, that's going to be, if I'm going to be checking the date here, uh, they completed the repair March 16. So you have that technical report, correct? Yeah. I, yes. If you can phone in Virgin Mobile and check with them uh, where they send the phone, probably they can provide you the, uh, the tech report that the unit was uh, diagnosed twice for the same concern, and that's the only time that we can send it for review. So, can I get a direct phone number for you and your service number or something, Bob? Unfortunately, I don't have an office here, so all calls are getting routed randomly. I know that the, based on the notes here on the account that uh, you have been looking for me, uh, it just so happened that I need to attend some trainings yesterday, so I was really not available the entire day. Right, uh, your, your customer but service reps keep, kept giving me the impression that I would have been called firstly within an hour and then certainly by end of day, and uh, none of that happened, of course. But uh, if you'd like, I can uh, fully uh, put my notes on the account, and uh, in any case that uh, you're able to provide as the other tech, uh, tech report coming from your carrier. So I will uh, put an instruction in here. What if I can't get a tech support report a tech report from uh, my carrier, uh, Bob. What do we do then? Uh, I'm sorry, sir. Can you please repeat that? What if I can't get a tech report? Because, you know, these are not things that I have control of, right? Just like I have no control of you and all this circular hoops that you're putting me through. Uh, worst comes to worst in any case that they cannot provide you, but that they should be able to because it's just a recent repair. Is uh, We need to uh, send the phone back in and um, have it checked out again, sir. So, so I bought this phone in January. This is April the uh, 7th. I've been without the phone almost as much as I've been with the phone. I'm, I'm going to share this information on uh, as many LG websites and Facebook pages as I can because this is just deplorable customer service. And what I've learned by searching the internet about LG customer service with their phones is that my, my experience isn't unique. My experience isn't unique. And the, and the actual problem that I'm having with the phone is not unique either. It seems that there are all sorts of uh, conversation threads on the internet trying to figure out how to get LG G4 phones connected to Wi-Fi. And so here I am with you with a known defect because clearly a lot of customers are having the same frustration and rather than being dealt with forthrightly and, and just being sent a new phone, I continue to live without a phone and be put through the ringer. So, so this reflects terribly on LG. It's just appalling. It's, it's appalling to me, it is appalling to me, that after what I've been put through, and you know what I've been put through, I mean, you know, I can't make this stuff up, you've got me in your records, this is, from your perspective, at least the second call, right, the second time it's broken. From my perspective, clearly it's the third, 
You're putting me through a hoop to prove it to you. It is appalling to me that you can't do something better to resolve this complaint at your level, and if not at your level, to escalate it to someone who actually has power and authority within the organization. Uh, I only wish that um, I, I can go ahead and process your request, sir, but uh, I'm just telling because uh, you have spoken uh, with several representatives already and they're, they're telling you the same thing. Well, of course, it's, the, it's you know, if everyone's telling me the same thing, it's kind of the company line. Let's not really satisfy the customer. Let's not listen to his complaint. We'll register it, sure, we'll register your complaint, but we're not gonna deal with this faulty phone. A, a line of phones that are known to have this as a defect. So rather than that, we won't deal with it and we'll just give them the runaround. And so you've got a customer service process in place that's designed to keep the customer away. That's, that's, that's remarkable. You know, when my wife phoned Virgin Mobile and said uh, last month, hey, our phone has been away, we haven't had service for two weeks. Virgin Mobile turned around and said, let us credit your account. They credited her account for an amount greater than one of the monthly fees. They were phenomenal. They didn't give us a runaround. They, they, and you know what? We weren't looking for that. My wife wasn't looking for that. She was being very reasonable, as, as have I been, just looking for a phone that works. So in calling Virgin Mobile, she was only hoping to get a, a credit for a week or two. They exceeded expectations. LG, on the other hand, you don't even come anywhere near to meeting expectations. Your job is to keep me waiting on the phone, hope, hoping perhaps that I die or go away. That's despicable. Um, my apologies if that's uh, what you think, sir. But, well, it's, uh, it's not what I think. That's the process that's been designed. And that's what I've been put through. So it's not a matter of thinking. That's actual behavior. That's actual outcome. And, and I'm not unique according to the internet with respect to, to this experience. I'm not unique. And, you know, at the end of the day, all I wanted was a phone that worked. Apparently, you can't deliver. Or won't. You know, maybe you can, but clearly you won't. Okay, so I'm going to call other people, I'm going to make other complaints, I'm going to post this on face, uh, LG Facebook uh, places, and I'm going to let people know of my experience. That's the outcome. This is what you create in your customer base. It is appalling to me that that would be a satisfying or satisfactory outcome for for a company like LG. All right, sir. I'll go ahead and put everything under notes. All righty.